everyone. Thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name's Edie and I just wanted to share a little bit of a story. I posted something on Facebook this morning and thought, you know what, I should probably go and share that with my YouTubers as well. Um, last night, which was Sunday night, I was going through the process of thinking about Mondays and how I remember how horrible I used to feel it was like the the Sunday blues where I knew that the weekend was over I knew that I had to get up in the morning and go off to my job and I just I dreaded it I remember getting a pit in my stomach about it and I remember just kind of hating life you know wanting to not have to do that every Monday and going through the rat race of you know, having a long drive to work. I used to, there's some jobs that I, one job that I had that I drove an hour one way, each way. And so like constantly going through my head, what I needed to get done before the day was over, what I would need to do during my lunch break, which a lot of times was only half an hour. Um, what I needed to do before I went home to make sure that I got to stores before they closed. And then a lot of times trying to think what I was going to make for supper because I'd forgotten to take something out of the freezer in the morning or the night before. And there was just so much going through my head that I believe that was part of the dread, part of that worst feeling ever on Sunday nights, knowing that all of that was going to take place and that it was going to happen for the next five days. And then it would start all over again. And I just remember that dread. I remember that feeling of the Monday blue. And guys, I was in the corporate world for 22 years. I worked all my life. That's all I ever knew. I mean, when I was nine years old, I started picking potatoes at the Garrett Potato Farm and never stopped working after that. I, When I was 16 and able to work in an actual... Um, I say in an actual job picking potatoes was a harder job than any job that I ever did but like in the in the outside world in a building or whatever I was a cashier at Susie's Economat for you know four years until I graduated and then once I graduated I went to cosmetology school but I had to work while I was at cosmetology school so I just I never knew a life without working hard and without being in the corporate rat race um, and just working for somebody else. I mean, there was a three year stint that I tried to run my own business and it was still in the corporate world because I was teaching software to corporations. Um, and I just, I, I know how frustrating it was. I know how daunting it was. I know how depressing it could be. Um, and I remember very distinctively the year that I stopped working in the corporate world, and that was in 2008, almost 2009. Actually, it was 2009, I'm sorry. Um, and I remember feeling like, whoa, what do, what do I do? What am I, who am I? Like, what am I supposed to be doing? How am I supposed to know who I am because for the you know past 25 years 26 years my identity was drawn through the work that I did you know I only knew who I was because of how hard I work I was always a hard worker I always worked in the corporate world I was a computer chick you know I always did I always identified who I was through the work that I did and so when I stopped working in the corporate world I could have very easily lost who I was if I had allowed that to happen. Like I could have really sunk deep into a loss of, of identity if I had allowed that to happen. And luckily I didn't. Luckily I had my druthers about me and I was able to just figure out, okay, what am I going to do? There's only so much housework I can do. And, you know, at the time I was doing another direct sales business, but it was only like a part-time gig. And I, wasn't really doing well with it in my new place um, in, in Maine, in Allagash. So I was kind of taken back when Sensi passed my, my lap, like when it fell onto my lap. 
um, because I was, I was like, you know, I, I just, I know I can do this, but I don't know if this is really something that I want to do. And maybe I should do it just to fill some time so that I don't feel like I'm lost all the time. Um, you know, and when I woke up to the opportunity of what Sensi had to offer is when I realized that all of those things that I dreaded every Sunday night, every Monday morning when I woke up and took my shower and got ready to go to work, knowing that the week was going to be either hell on earth, <laughs> to put it bluntly, or if something good was going to happen. I realized that staying home and working my business as a full-time business from home was so much more of a blessing for me than I could have ever imagined. I had no idea. I had no idea. Seriously, I had no idea that I could work a business, build a business, be my own entrepreneur, spend the time that I want to with my kids, which by the way, I wish this had come in a time when my kids were younger so that I could have enjoyed my kids more because I was the working mom. My husband stayed home. I missed out on all of that because I was the corporate chick. You know, luckily now my daughter is my business partner. So I get to spend time with her here in my work. You know, and last, in July, I was able to take my son with me to California for our Sensi family reunion. So I'm getting to incorporate them into my life a lot more because of Sensi and because of the fact that I'm working from home. You know, I get to choose where I do my work. I get to choose when I do it, how I do it, who I do it with. And ultimately, I'm bringing in an income. It's no different than an, an away from home job. I just get to be my own boss for the most part. Yeah, I work for Sensi, so there are rules and regulations, and there are guidelines and you know that sort of thing that I have to follow. I guess it would be no different than somebody owning a franchise. But I had no idea how blessed. And I know that sounds cliche, you guys. I get it. I get it. But I had no idea what working from home with Sensi would do for me, my identity, my self-esteem, my family, my marriage, my kids' relationships. I had no idea how much that would change by bringing Sensi into my life. And hear me out. I had another direct sales business at the time. It wasn't doing that for me. Sensi was what fit with me and it's what allowed these things to take place. It's like I've said before in the, in the past, it was my catalyst to some pretty amazing things and it has been, and it will continue to be. I will never ever choose to go back into the corporate world because I never want that pit in my stomach feeling on Sunday night, knowing that I have to get up the next morning and do it all over again and worry and stress and I just, I choose not to do that. And then here's the irony. Here's where you're going to be like, oh, Edie, you guys can do that too. You can have that freedom that I've had. You can witness an experience not having to rush around, not having to flood your mind with overwhelming thoughts of how to do something in your family, how to get things done, when to get them done. You have that choice too. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I just felt very compelled to share what I was feeling Sunday night, knowing that I did not have to go through that. That I did not have to go through that ever again. And that was a choice that I made. And I am grateful that Sensi crossed my lap because I'd still be getting up every morning. Here it's you know, almost three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just heading to town. <laughs> Matter of fact, I got up at nine this morning. Um, you know, I offer you guys this opportunity so that you can have these same experiences because if I am 
enjoying it and loving it as much as I am, I would be an awfully selfish person not to offer that to you guys too. You know, you get a choice of starting for $49 or $99 this month. Um, it's not like that every month. And if you're seeing this video and it's not September 2018, then you have the $99 choice. And that is a choice for you. To me, it is so worth $99 to be able to rid myself of overwhelming stress of working the corporate world. my opinion, but I wanted to share it. I hope you have an amazing day. Go make it an amazing day for somebody else and potentially yourself. Right? Bye.